Hello and welcome to today's tip on directory cleanup using Control Compliance Suite. This is Matt. Today we're going to leverage Control Compliance Suite to write a few simple queries to check for stale user accounts and stale machine accounts within Active Directory. Similar things can be done for NDS, Novell Directory Services, if you wish, but this demonstration will be on uh, Active Directory. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to be building this query using CCS version 11. However, the same query logic can be built using uh, version 10.5.1 or earlier RMS technology. So over here in Manage Queries, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new query. First one I'll make is uh, stale users. By stale users, we mean a user that hasn't logged in in a certain amount of time. Uh, you may wish to catalog this information and know which users have not logged in in a, in a large period of time as that could introduce a risk into your environment. So on the Query Builder we can choose which fields we want to display. We'll go ahead and grab a last logon date. And we can add more things in here like is the account disabled. You may want to filter those results out. You need to scope your query. In this instance, I'm going to scope it to my domain. If that doesn't work for you, uh, you can scope it to a domain controller. And then what's our filter? So in here, we're going to look for the last logon date. We're going to do a relative operator. And we're looking for stuff that's in the past. Since we're working with a date field, we have to use the less than operator. Days before today. A typical number I see is 90, um, so about three months. In this instance, we're going to do 30, uh, since my lab is a little bit limited. But since uh, we are using a date field, um, just so you know, 1 1 2012 is less than 2 1 2012. So in this instance, we're using a less than operator. That's how dates get interpreted. So we're going to do uh, less than 30 days before today. Here we have some sorting and filtering. So if we wanted to, uh, we could go ahead and sort by the last logon date and time in ascending order. That would give us the worst offender at the top, or the uh, person who hasn't logged in in the largest amount of time. Go ahead and run this. All right, looks like the query has completed. We view the results. Uh, we can see the two users haven't logged in in the past 30 days. Uh, and this is our worst offender at the top, March 28, 2012. And so these uh, results can, of course, be exported either to SQL tables, uh, to file shares, or uh, via email. Uh, there's a third way, uh, there's another way to export it, and I'm going to be showing that a little bit later on. So let's go ahead and move on now to um, stale machine accounts. So when we're talking about stale machine accounts in Active Directory, uh, we're talking about the machine password age. Since machines that are part of an Active Directory domain have a machine password to connect to that domain, that machine password uh, gets reset every 30 days or so, and there is a grace period of an additional 30 days. So if a machine is not checked in with Active Directory in 60 days or more, it has not changed its machine password, and that's something we can check for, that machine will probably have fallen out of the domain. And if you go to log into that machine um, with a domain account, you'll get an error message saying no domain controller is available to handle your login request or something of that nature. Cleaning out stale machines could help us with license counts. Uh, also, it is a risk to have those in there in some instances. So let's go ahead and change our entity to the machines. And we want the password age. Stored uh, in Active Directory. Again, we have to say what we want to target. In this instance, we'll just target all of our Windows assets. We can assume this is a Windows asset folder that only has Windows assets in it. And of course, our filter. We'll say if the machine password age is greater than 60 days. That would mean that our machine is possibly stale and uh, it's lost its channel for the domain. Again, we can put in password age as our 
as our sorting order. And in this instance, since we're dealing with a raw number, I will say it's descending. We get a raw number. The password age is X days, 1,000 days, 500 days. We'll go ahead and run that one too. The job has finished. Let's open up our results. And we can see we got a few machines here uh, who have not checked in with the domain in over 60 days. This could be a good list to work from when you're cleaning out Active Directory. And like I mentioned before, these results can be gridded out into Excel, CSV, Word, PDF, SQL. And they can also be rebrought into CCS, and this is uh, true for version 10.51 or later. And they can be brought into the web dashboards. And from here, we can show more comprehensive views of perhaps a D cleanup project. And here we have stale machines for different domains. This data can be sliced in several different ways. This happens to be by domain. We can do it geographically, by business unit, whatever makes sense for your needs. And then down here we have stale user accounts that are broken apart by department. Of course, again, we can slice this in, in any way that you wish. The dashboards are very malleable and they're very interactive. And from here, we can actually get into the grid data that's behind it. So I click on any of these bars. And we get the grid data behind here, which can then be expo exported to Excel right from the web browser. And there you have it.